Hello. Maybe you've seen the newspaper, magazine and television adverts about smart meters. Maybe your energy supplier has sent you a letter stating they are legally obliged to install a smart meter on your property. You may have received a leaflet through the door, a phone call or even had a salesman turn up on your door trying to get you to sign up to smart meter installation. Maybe you've gone to your local shopping centre and seen TV presenters Kirsty Allsop and Phil Spencer giving a presentation stating the reasons why you should have a smart meter installed. Now, smart meters are an absolute scam. They are dangerous in many ways and they are the biggest swindle ever perpetrated on us, the general public. Now, I know that's a bold statement, but during this short video, I will be going into detail and giving reasons as to why this is the case. But don't take my word for it. Every point I will be making will be backed up with documents, research and articles that I will post links to beneath this video. Maybe your energy supplier has sent you one of those letters I mentioned stating it is their legal requirement to install a smart meter on your property. Well, several energy suppliers have been reported to the Energy Watchdog for sending letters containing such false statements and have been accused of using bullying tactics to coerce their customers into having a smart meter installed. Smart meters are not compulsory and you are under no obligation whatsoever to have one installed. So bear that in mind if you do get a phone call or a letter from your energy supplier or indeed if a salesman turns up on your doorstep trying to sign you up for smart meter installation. Now a lot of information and adverts we see about smart meters talk about how you can have one installed at no extra cost. Now this is an outright lie. The smart meter rollout, which is being rushed to meet a 2020 deadline, is going to cost 11 billion pounds. And who's going to be paying for that? You are. We all are, because 420 pounds is being added to each household bill, whether you have a smart meter installed or not. One of the main reasons we are given for having a smart meter installed is for more accuracy in energy billing and to put an end to estimated bills. Well, that's contradictory to what the majority of energy providers encourage customers to sign up for, which is a yearly payment plan where your usage for the year is estimated and that cost is split into 12 monthly payments. So whether you have a smart meter installed or not, a yearly payment plan means estimated bills will continue. And on the point of accuracy, there have been many stories in the press of smart meters showing thousands of pounds of energy usage a day. Energy suppliers claim smart meters will reduce our bills. Yet many people have found the complete opposite to be the case, with some bills being doubled after smart meter installation. Also, after having a smart meter installed, you will be charged more at peak times, between 4pm and 8pm. So unless you want to have your dinner at 9 or 10pm, you will be charged much more for usage at the times more convenient for you and your family. This increased charge could hit the elderly and those on low incomes the hardest. So rather than saving us money, apart from the already mentioned £420 being added to all of our bills, Smart meters are increasing our bills. Smart meters also give your energy supplier much more control. With an analog meter, if they wish to disconnect you, they have to go through a legal process to gain entry to your property to cut you off. But with a smart meter, which is controlled remotely, they can disconnect you with the push of a button. The only way to save money is to use less energy. Here's something that will save you money. Get yourself an extension lead that has a switch for each plug point. That way, if you have, say, a TV, Blu-ray player, game system, computer, etc., all in one area of the room, you can switch off whichever is not in use to save leaving appliances on standby, which uses almost as much energy as when they are switched on and in use. There are also huge privacy concerns with smart meters because they record what you and your family do when you are within your house, how many showers you have and when, when you are cooking, when you are in, when you are out, and they can also determine exactly what television program you are watching. Researchers found that each television program has a unique electrical signature, and that signature matched with smart meter data showed what specific program was being watched. 
All this data about what you and your family do within your home is being harvested by your energy supplier, being sold off to who knows who, to do who knows what with. Now, there may be some people who say, well, I don't care if someone knows what I'm watching on TV. But the main point is this. Smart meter data can be used in such a specific way to pinpoint exactly what you and your family are doing in the privacy of your own home, when you are doing it and for how long. And crucially, meter activity data shows when the house is unoccupied, which leads us into another major concern. Hacking. Smart meters can be hacked. If a hacker gains access to your smart meter, he can collect all the data about your family's actions and movements and handily for a burglar can tell when your house is unoccupied. He can also switch your gas and electricity repeatedly on and off. This, of course, could cause huge damage, fires and explosions. In fact, Nathaniel Rubin, co-founder of the security firm Voltra, speaking at a conference of hackers and security experts, said that if a hacker took control of your smart meter, he will have power over all of your smart devices connected to the electricity. And even if you don't have smart devices, you are still at risk. An attacker who controls the meter also controls the meter's software, allowing him to cause it to literally explode. A virus could be introduced to your smart meter which attacks all of the smart appliances in your home. Just how vulnerable are we making ourselves, our homes, our businesses, our schools, our hospitals, our communities, in fact our countries, by having smart meters all attached to a smart grid that's vulnerable to hacking and cyber attack? There are also major health concerns with smart meters, as they emit 14,000 pulses of radiation bursts per day, which disrupt your cell's electrochemistry. This disruption of cells has a negative health effect on us all, but some may have more obvious symptoms, including headaches, insomnia, tinnitus, anxiety, chest pain, memory loss and rashes. The problem is we are the guinea pigs because smart meters are being rolled out into our homes, schools and hospitals and are presumed safe, yet people are having negative health effects from smart meters. Now apart from the hacking fire risk, there are also fire dangers associated with smart meters. As BBC's Watchdog have reported, smart meters are being badly installed and causing house fires. It's not only the installation leading to fires, in the US and Canada there have been numerous house fires from smart meters where circuit boards have burnt out or switches malfunctioned and caused house fires. Hundreds of thousands of smart meters have been recalled in Canada because of their fire risk. So with all these examples in mind, we bear the expense, the risk and the dangers whilst the energy suppliers reap the benefits and collect all the profits. So, considering that smart meters are actually costing us money rather than saving us money, why are they being foisted upon us? Well, smart meters are an absolute profit-making gold mine for the energy companies. We are being charged £11 billion to make the energy suppliers a projected £8 billion through getting rid of meter readers, so that means they'll be losing their jobs, and this is the real reason they want smart meters in our homes, because they're going to be collecting all that data on you and your family from the smart meter and selling it. Your home becomes a data mine for the energy company, and it has the potential to open the door of the home. Your home. Turning you and your family into the goose that lays the golden egg for the energy suppliers. Now, you may have watched this video and thought, well, I'm definitely not going to have a smart meter installed. But don't take my word for it. Do your own research. The energy companies are counting on you not doing any research. They're hoping you'll just lie back and accept this outrageous scam. But what do you do if you've already had a smart meter installed? Or you move into a property that already has a smart meter? Well, you can have it removed. EDF have said they will comply with smart meter removal at a customer's request. British Gas and E.ON have said they will consider smart meter removal requests on a case-by-case -case basis. And SSE said they would remove a smart meter if that's what the customer wanted. 
The customer is always right, so don't take no for an answer. As for British Gas and E.ON saying they will decide on a case-by-case -case basis, if they ask you for a reason for smart meter removal, cite health reasons. Because British Gas and E.ON are apparently not covered by their insurance for liability claims for customers' health problems due to their smart meters. And whether you've noticed a negative effect on your health from your smart meter or not, they are affecting your health and storing up health problems for us all in the future. So to recap and conclude, smart meters are an absolute scam, scandal and swindle. Why? Because customers are being bullied and coerced into having a smart meter installed when they are under no obligation to do so. We are being told that smart meter installation will be at no extra cost, yet that cost of £11 billion is being put onto all of our bills. We are also told smart meters will decrease our bills, yet as we have seen, smart meters have increased and in some cases doubled people's bills. Smart meters can be hacked. Smart meters have caused house fires. Smart meters can invade you and your family's privacy. And there are also health concerns with smart meters. And the only people who will benefit from smart meters are the energy companies, charging us £11 billion to create a means for them to make yet more profits for them and their multi-million pound paid executives. No one consulted us and asked us if we wanted to pay £11 billion for such a thing. No, they just arrogantly and outrageously pass that cost onto us, whether we like it or not. Just think of the worthy causes we could spend £11 billion on. Housing the homeless, elderly care, building more hospitals, building more schools, paying for more nurses, paying for more doctors. So many worthy causes we could spend £11 billion on. But no, we weren't given that choice. But you have a choice as to whether or not you have a smart meter installed. What choice will you make? Thanks for watching.